For decades, it's been known that marine life isn't evenly distributed through the ocean. Instead, it accumulates around underwater features such as seamounts and underwater banks. Scientists from Plymouth University have come to the British Indian Ocean Territory, where they can study these ecosystems in a near pristine state. The team deploy moorings packed with sensors to record long term, high quality data at various depths along the seamount. Behind me is one of our oceanographic moorings. This is going to measure the water currents and the changes in temperature, particularly those associated with the internal waves which are breaking on the slopes around the seamounts. We've been very successful with deploying the moorings. We've got uh, quite a few out over the past 24 hours. It's been absolutely fantastic. The great thing about moorings is that we can leave them in the water and they're collecting data all the time that we can use to ship for other things. The downside is that until you get them back, you've got nothing. Retrieving the moorings is a real team effort and means an early start for the scientists. So you can see the guys getting ready in the background and if I just turn a little bit, you can see uh, the mooring that we're going for. So yeah, let's get on with it. Today is a really good day. We're starting to look at the data now and it's, um, it's looking really, really interesting. These data are helping the team understand how currents interact with the seamount and how this triggers an accumulation of pelagic species, such as sharks. Now we're into the last week. Everything is just going beyond our wildest expectations in terms of data recovery and the success of the operations that we've been planning over the last six months. It's hoped that the work here will help identify the most important features of our ocean, so that informed decisions can be made about how best to protect them.